Okay, so I'm going to uh, sit right here on this tree. I just, uh, this was not planned. Basically, I asked, um, is there a tree that would like to give a message for everyone? Not just me, but just to see what comes through and it's almost like I'm channeling the energy of the tree specific to whatever needs to be said right now, basically. Okay. So if you were to do this, you would simply start connecting. I'm sitting right now, but I found a little nice spot for my, for my bum to kind of fit. You could stand and just feel, start to breathe long and deep and feel the energy of the tree. So I do feel that it is, um, it must have called me over because it's quite excited that I heard this, this uh, information come through that I need to do this. <clears throat> and let's see, so right now I just feel um, into my back like a flowing, almost because I hear the water too, it's almost like the tree is actually the energy of the trees floating down my spine. So it's quite nice. And it's quite relaxing. And you can imagine connecting with it to the point where your body becomes rooted into the earth but yet you feel that immense connection to all that is. So as you breathe, you can inhale this energy down and then exhale, releasing it back up. You could do that kind of breathing cycle. Imagine breathing with the tree. So the feeling is, do not worry, it is all working out as it needs to. No matter what it is that happens, you are completely cradled, is the word, cradled by my energy. And this is the tree speaking right now. I, and so I am actually bringing through words as this tree. So I am cradling you, but I am representing all the trees that are surrounding you. I am just speaking for them all. And we are all here to help you more than you even, more than you even know. The reason you are all drawn to this particular path in this forest is because you can feel the magic even if you don't know what that means. We are all here to guide you, support you, and cleanse you. We are cleansing your energy. We work with the water, we work with the wind, we work with the sun, and we play our part. We play this part in that we offer a cradling energy, like a baby that needs to be comforted. So that's why I'm telling you it's all going to work out, it's all going to be okay. And everything that you do, everything that you choose is all going to lead to where you need to be. And remember, we exist all around you, not only to provide oxygen, but to provide a very nurturing energy to your consciousness. It is no mistake that you enjoy our presence and are, and, and are inclined to even hug us because we 
We are feeding the child inside you and providing the love that you may be missing from your everyday life. And the love that you need to learn to have for yourself, we want to teach that to you by cradling you. And in fact, this is how you can love yourself, is by just holding yourself as if you're a small child and becoming so connected and loving towards this inner child. That is how we feel about you. So we're always here for you no matter what. And do not worry because we are actually helping you when you walk through the feeling of clearing the mind when walking through this path. It is no coincidence. We are doing this for you. This is why you always want to be here. This is why you crave to be here. Because we are providing you with a sense of nourishment and elevation in your consciousness. We love working with your energy. and We love watching how you transform with each step you take just by walking through. It's asking me, it wants me to bring through an exercise. I'm just trying to feel what it is. It's to help everybody. So this exercise it's basically saying that when you find a particular one of us, the trees, we want you to observe the first living being that is residing on us, whether it's a bug or a bird or a squirrel or a chipmunk, or if you get a sense that there is a particular being hiding within our trunk. And we want you to speak to that because that particular animal on that particular tree that you're connecting to is actually also going to give you a message and it wants to talk to you. Its spirit wants to talk to you. So when you connect to this tree, you are also connecting to the living beings within it that are contributing to the energy of it. But we want you to actually speak to the one that you see first or feel first or know that is there. And channel whatever message you receive from that as well. Because we are working together. Each, each being that resides on my branches or within my trunk is actually contributing to the energy that we are helping you with. So there's no mistake where the nests are formed. There's no mistake where the birds land. It's, it's all very consciously chosen. This is why you need to pay attention. If you see a bird land right in front of you on a particular branch, you need to pay attention to that. The bird is communicating through itself and through me. And the message that comes through at that particular moment is a combination of the energies combined of the tree, the branch, the bird, the bugs. It's, there's a resonance emitting from the entire combination of it. So we just want you to pay attention even more now.
I'm going to go with a spider on this tree. Do you understand that you need to be patient as you build this dream of yours? And when we say dream, we mean the vision that you have, which is quite intricate, but did you know that it will be built as you step through? You don't even fully know the vision, but as you as you create it, it will transform into seeing it. The spider, the spider is talking right now. So when I create my spider web, I don't have a particular plan, but I know what I'm doing because I listen to my instinct and I listen to my inner guide. No one taught me how to build this spider web, but as I create it, it, trans it, it transforms in front of me into this beautiful dream. And then what I need is given. I don't need to know how it will happen. It just happens because I listen. I listen to what I know I need to do. I just know. And I trust that it will serve its purpose to bring me to where I need to be and nourish me. Okay. So uh, I'm going to thank the, the spider that I tuned into. I see a lot of spider webs and I feel there's a spider somewhere that needed to come through. And I'm going to thank this tree for participating in this exercise because I feel that um, it it's also an example of just continuing to connect to the nature that is surrounding you because when all else fails there's always there's always nature right when you just feel you don't know what else to do you can always turn to nature and animals to support you and clear your energy all right thanks for joining me and if you like this video please click like if you haven't subscribed please subscribe I will be doing a lot more of these with crystals, plants, animals. They are very important creatures and beings that exist in our world. And they are, are of a very elevated consciousness. We can learn a lot from them. All right, see you soon. Namaste.